Hey everyone, I'm back, and today I'm going to be talking about Arrival, and if you noticed on my channel, I actually had did this before, but I got rid of the video because the camera was really shaking and I didn't know what to do, so I decided to just redo the review, and I have a couple other things I missed that I actually need to say about this movie, so let's dive into this. First off, this movie stars Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner, and Forrest Whitaker, I believe his name is, and it's directed by Dennis Vin Vinnie. I I have no idea how to pronounce his last name, but um, uh, so in this movie, me Amy Adams' character, what was her name? Uh, Doctor uh, Louise Bang, and said uh, she is uh, supposedly the great, the best translator the world has to offer. And so uh, they take her over to a military base, and uh, and uh, and there. Are, oh, I missed something. Uh, to uh, translate what these aliens are saying, and uh, it's kind of like Independence Day, uh, but without uh, destruction of the White House. And they're not really here to destroy us. Uh, we're just trying to figure out what they're trying to say. Yeah, and. That's this movie, and we're also trying to figure out why they're here. And first off, what I liked about this movie, hang on one second, the movie is Amy Adams' performance, uh, and, and uh, I'm going to com compare her performance uh, in this movie to Batman vs. Superman. In that movie, she played. Oh, whoops. <laughs> in that movie, she played uh, Lois Lane, and, and I'm going to compare the two performances. So you, that you guys understand uh, how I feel about her in this movie. In Batman vs. Superman and Arrival. So, her performance in both movies uh, feel the same, but the difference here is her character. In this movie, I was uh, actually feeling that I was going with the, through the story with her, mainly because uh, she's the main character and she felt like a real person. In Batman vs. Superman, her character didn't really do anything that uh, had much to do with the plot, really. So, I think that's why this performance in Arrival worked more than Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. Which is really very disappointing for that this movie. But it's what we have to deal with, so... And uh, this movie also has uh, Jeremy Renner. He has a couple comedic uh, moments, uh, but overall he doesn't really do a whole lot. He's mainly used as a tool to help communicate with these aliens, but mm, he doesn't really have a lot to do. Oh, and uh, for uh, Whittaker, he had like an accent that uh, kept pulling me out of the movie because I couldn't uh, understand what he was saying. For about half of his lines. And also there's a little uh, subplot the thing that you see in the beginning. I th thought it was about the past but it's actually about the future and I really didn't uh, buy that uh, how this should have been. And, and this isn't really a spoiler but I just I didn't uh, think it, it was a smart move to uh, go in the future direction over the past direction. And uh, looking back on it, it really did affect the movie quite a bit. And uh, I know in my uh, previous review, I do recall, uh, I think I said something along the lines of that it worked because it helped, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, it uh, helped uh, Amy Adams' uh, character feel like she's going through a drama, like trying to deal with it, and so communicating with the aliens is kind of like communicating with uh, with, uh, with uh, something she lost, with what she lost. And so the fact that it's in the future means she hasn't really lost anything. And uh, oh, this is kind of like a spoiler-ish review, but I'm, I'm not going to spoil the last act, don't worry. I don't really keep that off limits, but that's about all I can say. But overall, this movie had uh, very strong performances. It had a, a very well uh, put together 
a story outside that one subplot. And some of the visuals are very well done. And I think you saw in the trailer, we see the spaceship that's kind of like a black egg <laughs> shell. And you see all the scenery and it looked very cool. And there are plenty of shots in this movie that look like that. But, and all in all, I'm going to give this movie an A-. minus. It does have uh, strong performances. It is uh, well acted. It, uh, like I said, Amy Adams is, a, is actually a very good in this movie. Yeah, but uh, it just uh, wasn't as great as I was hoping it I uh, thought it was going to play out in my mind. And, and also his Forrest uh, Whitaker's accent, uh, I couldn't uh, get past. So that's my uh, take on Arrival. What do you what do you guys think of uh, the movie? You can leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought. But, uh, I would be uh, more than happy to see what you think of it because I love uh, uh, knowing what people's other people's opinions are. It's what got me started on here. I like hearing other people's opinions. And, and I, uh, I wanted to share my own thoughts uh, to see what you guys would think. So anyway guys, uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, maybe, and that way you won't miss any new content I put on this channel. And uh, a little update, I'm going to try and see Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. But I am still dealing with issues right now. So I'm not sure when that's going to be up. But I will try to get it as soon as I can to you guys. So thank you for watching and I'll see you then.